Hey guys, I wanted to show you my beautiful cascading jade plant. See her right here? She is gorgeous. She goes down, 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 about right there. <laughs> but this plant I got about I think three summers ago it was a small rooted cutting that I bought I think I got it on eBay and I absolutely love this cascading jade it is gorgeous it was kind of a slow grower in the beginning when I first got her um, but as, ha as the time has gone by, she is just absolutely gorgeous. And if you get her in just a little bit higher light, she, ha she will get like the tinges of purple, which is really, really pretty. I absolutely love it. And this plant can take a lot of really high light. Um, I've never had her in direct sun. So, I, I wouldn't put a plant in direct sun. Um, I wouldn't try it with this plant. I mean, if anybody knows any differently, if you've grown this like outside in the sun, or I wouldn't imagine it would. I don't know. We're just going to leave it at that because I have no clue. I grow her in a west window. And she also is right beside a Mars Hydro light, so she gets a lot of bright light. I have her pulled back a little bit. She's not directly under it, but it's great. It's a succulent. So what I do with mine is I let her dry all the way down until my pot is getting a little on the light side. And then I just drench her. And give her a really good watering and then start the process all over again. Now I do feed her with fish fertilizer. Um, I've read that you don't really have to feed jade plants but I do mine because all my plants get fed and they all get fed when I water so it just kind of goes with the territory of she gets fed. So. Um, so you kind of treat her like a Hoya, and I think if you have this plant and you're having troubles with it, or if you're interested in it, if you have Hoyas or other succulent type plants, I think you will do, and you do good with them, I think you'll do fine with this plant because she is super easy. She's gorgeous. I love the leaves on it. You can see, can you see how much bigger some of the leaves are right here? than the rest. I do not know why that happens. I don't know if that side gets more light or what. <laughs> I have no clue. But <coughs> it is a gorgeous plant. I love anything that is hanging and draping. I love my hanging plants. I wouldn't have plants if I couldn't have hanging plants because I just absolutely adore having hanging plants in my house. It just brings it to a whole different level when you have plants that can hang and drape down. They're just gorgeous. But, um, so higher light, let her dry down before you water her again. Don't, I don't let my leaves get puckery because that is a lot of stress on the plant because it has to work on rehydrating everything, the roots, the leaves, the stem, it has to work on rehydrating everything, so um, I don't let my plants do that. I just treat her like a Hoya, let her get dry, a little on the light side with my pot. I don't know anything about the meters or anything like that. I don't use them. I just go by lifting my pots, and that's how I tell if they need water or not. Um... And I feed her every once in a while, and she does great for me. I absolutely love it. And as far as propagation, um, it's pretty much like any other succulent or whatever. Take a cutting and let it dry out 
a little bit, <clears throat> like a day or two, and then pop it right back in the plant because this this plant does get roots on the stem, so it's super easy to propagate. I've done it once in this pot. I just well, I just repotted her like. I don't know, three weeks ago, I think, I put her in this bigger hanging pot because she was just really outgrowing what she was in, and it was getting a little nutty. But, um, so propagating is really easy. You can also propagate the leaves. Just give them a cut, or if any fall off or whatever, you can stick them right back in a moist soil, and they will root out and make a whole new plant super easy um i read now i don't know i've never gotten any bug issues on this plant but i've read that they are susceptible to mealybug um i've never had that issue with this plant knock on wood but <clears throat> mealybug makes sense since it's a succulent i know that they do are prone to it so but that is it guys. I just wanted to show her to you and I'll do another close up. I think she is just absolutely gorgeous. I love this plant. It's been, she's been super easy for me to take care of so um Alright guys, that is it for the Cascading Jade, or Waterfall Jade, um, I think there's several names for this plant, but anyways, <laughs> oh and this does get blooms on it too, mine has never bloomed for me yet, maybe this summer since it's more mature, I don't know, we'll wait and see, if it does, I'll show you, but I think it's like a pink or purple flower. It's not super significant, so, you know, <laughs> it's not going to be anything to write home about, but I like it when my plants bloom, any of my plants bloom, because if they're blooming, you know that they're happy and healthy, but, <clears throat> so that's always a good sign, but I am going to let you guys go, and I will talk to you later. Bye. Peace.